So here we have um, the Morel set. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one we the, had. This huh? was the discovery from about 30 years ago, huh? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Let me see. This is not it, but it looks no, like it. Yeah, looks I've like seen it. that before as well. Ah, hey, here, here yeah, we are. here it is. Yeah, that still looks uh, really great. Monogrammed and see, there's, there's more dated. material at the back. 1636. Yeah, it's uh, it's it, it even been sort of talked about here in a, a thesis on Thomas de Keyser in '85. Right. All right. Well, we, we, have we, have this. we have to check this. All right. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll take that out and then copy it downstairs for the for the map. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, compare that to the oh, painting. All right, yes. uh, by the way, I mean it's interesting because this is an, an, a new, a relatively new photograph. Because do you remember that on the side here, they sort of painted um, a curtain oh, yeah, that's right. that was actually painted out. That's right. Uh, in the end, very interesting. So this actually this should be the original condition of the painting, and someone must have painted in the curtain at some point. For what reason, I wouldn't know. No. To dramatize, let's say, the uh, the sitter or it's, it's the subject a, matter. But it is a beauty. Yeah. Right, okay. That goes down in the mouth. A red-haired beauty. But it is seriously remarkable, I mean, all the information and the material that uh, over the last 100 years we were able to gather Well, this is what, and your, collect. what your, your grandfather started this in 1911. Yeah. He thought this out with Sir Robert uh, Witt of the Couto Institute, uh, Witt Library in London, and they both uh, decided on the boxes and on the, the way to store all of the most of the material of one painter altogether. Yeah. And uh, the amazing thing is in 1923, when Dr. Hofstede de Groot visited my father, your grandfather, mm -hmm. he said, Dawes, what have you got there? So, so my father explained it to him. And uh, he said, I'm going to do the same thing in The Hague. So the RKD, the Rijksbureau for Kunsthistorische Documentatie, has this same system built up over millions of photographs. We only have a small size of material that we use, uh, we deal in, in French yeah. and, and Dutch. But in The Hague you find, maybe you find of the same morale, so you, you might find three, four, five photographs. Yeah. Sent to them all over the world. And meanwhile, you, in let's say roughly the 70s, you put a whole slide library together with uh, amazing slides, wonderful uh, quality. About 40,000, 45,000 maybe. Yeah. An average a number of slides of one painting is five. The original picture and details from it, uh, uh, including the signature if possible. So uh, with 40,000 you have about uh, 8,000 pictures in there. Yeah. All chronologically and alphabetically ordered. But it's wonderful when uh, you're able to compare, let's say, a father and a son uh, situation, eh? like uh, uh, an old master, Jan Davidson de Heem, with Cornelis de Heem. That's right. And for, let's say, the general public, both paintings, they almost look alike. Yeah, exactly. But once you show details of yeah, each yeah, of these right. painters, that's right. Um, uh, most people get a kick out of it because for the first time, they actually uh, discover those differences themselves. And they can all of a sudden see the difference between father and son. Uh, with details, uh, think of uh, Jan Brugge with small figures. If you blow up the, if you make a detailed photograph of one figure, and you blow that up about, yeah. uh, um, about a yard and, and a half, then at least you can exactly see how it's painted. Mm -hmm. And if we uh, produce and project uh, one, let's say, two, tulip, two different tulips, we will have to see whether that tulip is by Jan Davids de Heem or by Apa Mignon or by Joris van Swan. Yeah. You, just by the way it's painted. Yeah. And that's when you start getting a kick out of, of, of uh, re reconnaissance. Yeah. And then basically, uh, um, I mean, we've worked on the library sort of th throughout the last 100 years. Yeah. And uh, my grandfather, um, continued when he passed on the gallery to you, okay. uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, works of that. And, and my and, mother as well. Yeah, and for many, many years, I mean 20, 30, 40 years, they really worked hard 
to get this library um, sort of in shape. That's right. Yeah, and because there, let's say, only forty-five thousand instead of four hundred fifty thousand photographs, we might be able to digitalize the slide collection. Well, we're starting on it now, right now. Yes. But it may, um, it may take two years to do it all. Ah, uh, at least. But that's okay. It is the backbone of the knowledge that we have in this gallery. Uh, exactly.